Okay, and our last little part here says a birth weight of less than 3.25 pounds is classified as a very low birth weight. What is the probability that a baby has a very low birth weight for each gestation period? So our X value is 3.25, and we're finding the probability. So we're looking again at our normal curve. So 3.25 for our Z score here is going to be 3.25 minus 4.5 over 1.95. Okay, so that is going to give us a Z value of negative 0 0.6410. So what that means is that on my standard normal curve, that's a really bad one, hold on. Okay, here's zero, 50%, negative one is maybe right here, so negative 0 0.6, about right here. Okay, and I wanna know the probability that that baby is gonna be there. So that's gonna be less than 50%, but it's still a pretty significant percent here. Okay, so we can look this up in our G Z chart. So we would need the negative value Z chart. Here we go. So it was negative 0.6. So 0.64, we would go over, over, over there, so 0.2611. So that would give us a probability of 0.2611, which we can convert to a percent of 26.11%. Okay, or we can put this in our calculator. We can go normal CDF. Our leftmost value, negative 99. Our rightmost value, negative 0 0.6410. Normal CDF. And then negative 99. Negative 99, comma, negative 0.6. And that gives us 0 0.2608. Okay, and you can do that or 26.08%. Again, they're very close, close enough that as long as you show your work, I would accept either one. And then let's take a look at the second one. So at full gestation, 40 weeks, what's that probability? Probably pretty small. So we go 3.25 minus 7.5 over 1.24. So 3.25 minus 7.5 over 1.24 gives us a negative 3.4274. Okay, so on that normal curve, okay, here's zero, negative one, two, three, that's like right here. So this is gonna be a really, really small percent. Okay, so we can look it up on our Z chart or Go in our calculator, normal CDF. We're still going area to the left, so still negative 99. And then our rightmost is just negative 3.4274. And we're going to get that probability there. And that gives us 
3 times e to the negative 4, that's scientific notation, so that's 3.0 times 10 to the negative 4, which just means move the decimal place four places to the left. So 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. Here's my decimal. So I get three zeros in front of that. So really, really small probability. Okay, if I turn that into a percent, that is 1, 2, that's 0 0.03%. That a baby is born 3.25 pounds or less at a full gestation period.